Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, again, you are halfway through with your week, so congratulations. Hope you're enjoying summer. Summer started uh, for most of you here in Greenville. Schools got out last week, so this is your first full week of summer vacation. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, last week we talked about headrest position, how to protect yourself while driving, and I had a completely different talk set up for today. But as you can see by the title, something happened to me last week, and I want to make sure it doesn't happen to you. So, last Thursday, I almost died. Uh, I know that sounds kind of strange, but yes, I almost died. And I want to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Um, one of the top reasons that people die in this country every year in accidents are choking accidents. And last week, I choked. Um, last Thursday, my wife gave me a call and said that she would be at swim meet with our four boys um, for their swim meet. And she asked me to run to pick up the dog from the groomers on my way home from work. And she just said, casually said, by the way, there's no dinner at home, so why don't you pick up some dinner for yourself on your way home? And I said, sure thing. Stopped at a local restaurant uh, to eat a steak. I sat down at the bar and I thought I would eat a, a quick steak real quick on my way home. And uh, as I'm sitting there, for those that know me, I'm a pretty fast eater. It's a holdover from my Citadel days. Um, as a cadet, if you didn't eat quickly, you weren't going to eat at all. And I was eating pretty fast. And I took a bite that I could tell was too big. And it registered in my mind, that's too big. Be careful, slow down and chew that piece of meat. And so I started chewing. And as I chewed, I cleared my throat. And the piece of meat slid down into my throat and lodged itself. It cut off my windpipe and it was lodged. I could feel it stuck, so I tried to bring it back up. I know kind of gross, but I tried to bring it back up and it wouldn't come up. So I swallowed hard five times, as hard as I could to try to get it down. It moved a little bit, but lodged even further. Now I knew that this piece of meat was stuck and I wasn't gonna be able to breathe, but I needed a breath. I'm sitting at the bar, I needed a breath. I tried to take a breath and there's nothing. Um, everything happened so quickly. Um, I was thinking clearly. And at this point, I wasn't scared, but I scanned the room. There weren't, weren't a lot of people in the restaurant. There was the bartender on the other side of the bar. There was a, fairly, uh, a guy that was a little bit bigger than me, about three seats down. And then there was a couple with their kid or grandkids sitting behind me. So I stood up, and the first thing you need to do if you're choking is to get someone's attention, and you do the universal sign of choking, like this. So I walked over to the guy and did like this thinking if anybody can get this piece of meat out of my throat with the Heimlich maneuver, it's gonna be this guy. And he stood up and said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what do I do? And I turned my back to him to get him to give me the Heimlich maneuver and he started slapping me on the back. Now, he wasn't fully trained in the Heimlich maneuver and that's where you could lose your life. What ended up happening for me um, is that he, he started slapping my back because he did the best that he could and that was the best he knew how to do. But for anyone that's been trained in CPR, you should know that, that when someone's choking, slapping the back is not gonna be the best way to clear this piece of food out of your throat. So let me tell you what you should do for yourself so you can save yourself. First of all, grab a chair, like this one. And I want you to find your belly button. So grab a chair about yay high, find your belly button, and you ball your fist up with your thumb facing out. And your pinky is gonna go right there in your belly button. When you roll up, you'll be right underneath the xiphoid process. That is the area that you need to press. If you're giving the Heimlich to somebody else, you go in and up to project the piece of, of, of food that's blocking the airway or whatever object's blocking the airway. Now, if you're going to do this for yourself, obviously you can't get enough thrust like this, so you can use a chair. You can either lean over the chair in that same spot, thrusting down up at a 45 degree angle into the abdomen and up underneath the rib cage, or you can use your fist. So you can roll up, use your fist, come in the chair, and go over it. I find that the fist underneath there does tend to get a, a better pressure to project that piece of food. Now, back to my story. That's what I started doing. I did three thrusts, and by the time I got to the third thrust, I was already seeing stars, so it was getting spotty black. I knew I was about to pass out, and I was concerned that if I passed out, that nobody was gonna be able to get this piece of food out of my throat at that point. On the third thrust, after the third thrust, I did not feel that full um, peristalsis that you usually feel to project the food out. Um, 
actually miraculously, it's like my guardian angel just reached out of my throat and pulled the piece of meat out and pretty gross, it flew and splatted right on the bar. Um, and yes, I took the walk of shame. I did not finish my meal. I boxed it up to go. I did finish my water so that I could uh, um, um, actually feel like I could breathe again. My throat was sore for a few days. So what I'm gonna put in the comments here, I know usually we talk about something about chiropractic or, or natural health, but not this week. This week, we just, we just wanna save your life. So if you don't know how to do the Heimlich Maneuver, I'm gonna put a video of a couple YouTube videos in the comment section that you can look at so you can practice doing the same self Heimlich Maneuver or self abdominal thrusts to save your life. And I highly suggest that you contact the American Red Cross and become certified in CPR and first aid so that you can do this for others or for yourself. In that restaurant, it'd been nice if there'd been other people that have been trained in the Heimlich Maneuver that someone could have done it for me um, because had I not been able to get it out myself, um, I might not be here today. And I certainly didn't want to leave uh, a, a widow and, and four orphans behind. So um, make sure that you get to the Red Cross. They offer classes for a small fee and get yourself and your family certified. I hope you, have, you guys have a very safe and healthy week. Enjoy this first full week of, of summer vacation. If you're traveling, be safe. Make sure to put the head restraint in, at the top of the head. And if you're eating anywhere, make sure that someone in your group knows how to do uh, first aid CPR. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great week.